If you teach exercise to women who have low back pain or pelvic girdle pain during pregnancy or women who have a pelvic floor dysfunction, the information we are going to cover will help you assess what level of exercise is appropriate and how to provide suitable exercise progressions. The initial assessment involves using the real-time ultrasound to assess the pelvic floor. First we'll look at your client's position. So you want to make sure their legs are nice and relaxed. Their quads and their glute, their glute max is all relaxed. So you can provide a pillow or two, maybe two pillows under their knees. And you want to make sure their neck's relaxed, their chest is relaxed, and that they can breathe easily. Next we're going to go to the ultrasound machine. So I'll have us use the frequency setting between 2 and 2.5 megahertz and lots of gel on the curved transducer head. I'll make sure that the dot on the transducer head lines up with the dot on the screen. So my client's left is the left on the screen and I'll bring the transducer head just down to the pubic line. And then we'll go to look at the machine settings. So we're just going to observe from here the settings I've used to get the pelvic floor. I've used 3.5 megahertz, but on your machine it could be between 2 to 3.5 megahertz. I've positioned my focus position. I'll use the pen. The arrow, this is just pointed towards the base of the bladder. So this square here is a bladder, and that's a, quite a full bladder. If the bladder is slightly empty, it's more bow-shaped, like a bow tie. And this is the pelvic floor muscle at the base here. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is just observe what happens with breathing. So as Penny breathes in, the pelvic floor goes down, and as you breathe out, the pelvic floor goes up. And that's what you want to check for first, and that's normal. Breathe in and breathe out. So we use that natural movement of the bladder with the diaphragm to obtain the correct pelvic floor contraction. We want to see the pelvic floor lift the bladder slightly. So when you're ready, Penny, just do a gentle pelvic floor lift. Good, and we get a nice lift. And then relax.